This whole birthday thing seems to happen once a year. Last year, I made a birthday cake. This year, I thought, why don't I start a little tradition where I make something every birthday and do a tutorial on it. We're gonna make party hats. Maybe I'm gonna put one on my head right now. I'm not gonna move. I'm gonna make it easier for editing. All right, let's go make these. So here we are in Illustrator, and basically we're gonna make um, some party hats. Uh, if you think about a party hat, the shape of a party hat is, is kind of like a cone, right? So let's start with a triangle. I'm gonna grab the polygon tool by clicking and holding the rectangle tool. We're gonna slide this down to the polygon tool. I'm gonna move my mic a little bit closer. It probably sounded bad there for a second, but anyway, here we are. All right, so we grab the polygon tool. I'm gonna click on my canvas and it's gonna pull up this little dialog box. A triangle has three sides, right? So I'm gonna make sure this says three sides. The radius doesn't matter, we can always resize it. Hit okay. So I got a little triangle out there. Now this is gonna be any color, could be just a black color for you. Uh, I'm gonna click on it with the selection tool, the shortcut key for that is V, and then I'm going to scale it up holding shift and option. If you're on Windows, that's shift and alt, and we're just gonna make it a little bit bigger. All right, so the fill and the stroke are what defines the sort of look and the colors that are on my uh, triangle. You might have something in stroke, maybe a one point black stroke or something, and that's gonna make a black line around the outside of your triangle or party hat. We're gonna start calling it a party hat now. Um, if you want some kind of outline like that, that's how you do it with a stroke. I'm gonna turn all that off for the stroke, just make it zero. And then the fill, let's select something uh, we're just gonna start with a base color of blue and I'm gonna go up to my window panel down to color and that's gonna pop out my little color panel which this is my favorite one because I can double click on uh, the color picker and pull this guy up so let's let's find a blue um, something like this maybe I don't know these colors in this tutorial are probably gonna be pretty bad uh, but you guys can pick and choose whatever colors you want all right, let's make this hat a little bit taller by grabbing this top point. Actually, we need to grab it with the direct selection tool. The shortcut key for that is A, it's the white arrow in your toolbar. I'm gonna grab this guy, and we're gonna super nudge him up by holding shift and using the up arrow key. And we're just gonna bring him up a little bit, maybe like that right there. Okay, so we got this little party hat, but I think he needs to be more like cone shape. And I'm actually gonna show you how to do two different styles of it. One where you're looking at it from above and one where you're kind of looking at you can see the inside of it like the bottom so let's duplicate this guy out we're gonna hold option or alt on windows and just bring him over to the side all these little pink lines that help me line things up those are called smart guides you can turn them on in the view drop down down to smart guides I kinda like them they're nice alright so what we're gonna do next is create a an ellipse and so if I go over here click and hold find the ellipse tool shortcut key L I'm gonna make sure that I'm hovered over the anchor point on the lower left-hand side of one of my little uh, party hats. Click and drag, and I'm gonna make a circle just big enough so you can see it. It's gonna be kind of an oval shape. And I'm gonna go until it lines me up with the right side of, uh, of my party hat, and then I'm gonna let go. So there's my little circle. Now what I can do with this guy, so if I go back to that selection tool, I can just bring him up until he locks into place where the middle of my ellipse intersects with the bottom of the party hat. And you can see my smart guides are helping me see that point, and so I just let go right there. And so this party hat on the left is pretty good. He's got kind of that rounded bottom. We've got a cone shape. I'm gonna duplicate this, because I like it. I like that size. So just gonna bring it over here. Remember that it's holding Option or Alt on a PC. And to keep it from going up like this, just hold it shift and it'll keep it in line. And I'm gonna lock that in with my second guy over here. And so the reason that I made a second one, I'll show you just by changing the color of this shape. So we're gonna go back to that color uh, panel. Remember window down to color if you want to. And we're going to double click on this and just make it a little bit darker. So now it looks like I'm looking at the bottom or the inside of that hat, whereas this one's almost like it's sitting on a table. So that's two different styles there. We can make this a little bit darker um, of hats, depending on what you're trying to do. You know what I mean? Like depending on 
how you need to use it or how you want to use it or the style that you want. Um, and then after that, everything works the same. So we're gonna be using the Shape Builder tool a lot. Let's start with this side and I'm gonna actually um, use the Pathfinder options really quick to merge these two shapes together. I will not merge these together, but I will merge this one to create one cone shape. And I can do that by going up to Window, down to Pathfinder. Uh, for everyone that's in different spots, that's why I go up to Window because everyone can find it there. And then if I just click this Unite button, it's gonna create one shape out of those two, as long as I had those two selected. So from here, let's just create some designs. I'm gonna move these guys over and I'm gonna duplicate this one out so we just have that shape over there. We can always go back to him. I don't know, let's start with polka dots. So we're gonna create circles with the ellipse tool. Remember the shortcut key is L. This big swatch here is the fill. I can actually double click on that and change the color. Let's go with a white for this first one. So it's like a, well, it's my party, right? So it's a, it's a boy hat. We're gonna start with a boy hat. And I just changed the color of that guy. If you had him selected, that's what's gonna happen. Uh, Deselect him, go back to that ellipse tool, and then you can change the color. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do. All right, so now all I need to do is hold shift while I'm creating circles to, uh, to create a perfect circle. And then once I've kind of plopped one on there, I'm gonna switch back to the selection tool. Shortcut key is V to do that. And I can move this guy around now. And, but if I hold that option or alt, I can just duplicate. So I'm gonna duplicate some of these polka dots around uh, and just kind of put them around this, this hat, this party hat. Um, let's do one more right up here, okay? Now I can select all of this Use my shape builder tool, that's the little double circle with the arrow icon. Shift M is the shortcut key, and I do memorize that one, so I would recommend that. Uh, and then basically, now that I have all these selected, it sees all these shapes, I can just hold option. It switches the little plus to a minus, and if I click on anything, it disappears. So I can just click on all these outer shapes. Make sure you click on the shape and not the edge of it. The actual highlighted full shape, and that'll get rid of it. And there you go. I've got some, some uh, a party hat, right? And I don't like where this circle is. I can still click on it and move him over. Um, you can click on these. We actually deleted them, so it's kind of a little bit non or a little bit destructive, but I don't really care because it's so fast to do. But if you wanted to move this, you could always just create another circle, bring it over, and adjust it however you want. But there you go. We got, uh, we got a little polka dot party hat. Um, let's, let's just scale him down holding shift and just grabbing an edge and, and we'll put him up here. And if you want to, you can always group him together. Uh, right clicking on that group and now you can just move it around easily. Okay, we'll create another one here. Um, I'm gonna show you something with the brush tool. So if we grab the paint brush tool, the shortcut key for that is B. We go up to window, down to brushes. F5 is that shortcut. I got my brushes panel open. Now you can open up and find lots of arrow brushes, artistic brushes, calligraphy, ink, paint, geometry, lines, all kinds of stuff. We're not gonna get into that. I'm just gonna click on this brush here, which is the, it's the 10 point round brush. Uh, but what you can do is click on the hamburger menu and go down to brush options. And that's gonna allow you to adjust the size and a lot of different characteristics of your brush, but for me, I was more concerned about the size. So I can make like a 20 point brush and hit okay. So now this is like a 20 point brush that I can use out here to draw. And what I don't want is, uh, I don't want any stroke around it, so I'm gonna go zero on the stroke. And then as far as color, let's do, let's do something like a hot pink or something, uh, just so it really shows up. And so what, what you can do is just literally just like draw over this, right? I can just draw things. And the brush is, is kind of cool because it sort of uh, straightens it out. Um, no, what's, it, what's the word? It smooths it out while you're drawing, like after you let go. Um, so I'm just drawing some squigglies through here. Nothing too like too crazy. So just, just some squigglies. Uh, and then what we can do is select all of the squigglies and the hat. And if we hold shift, we're gonna deselect the hat by clicking on it. So now I have only my squigglies selected. And then I can go up to object, down to expand appearance. And what that does is it takes them from being a stroke or a line to being a shape. And so now I can select everything, use that shape builder tool, shift M, 
And instead of clicking on each one of these, I can actually just hold Option or Alt so I see the minus and I can click and draw through everything that I want to delete. So I can just draw through that side and draw through this side. And there's actually a little bit down here that I might need to zoom in to get. And I can just hold Option and click on that piece. And so that gets rid of those. So now I've got like a squiggly version hat, right? All right, cool. Um, I'm gonna duplicate this guy out one more time. We'll do one more version of this of this party hat. This party you're at with the party hats. All right, um, let's make this something else. Let's make it um, let's make it orange. Maybe we're gonna go change the fill on this guy to orange, something maybe yellowish orange like that. A gold something, just something different, right? Um, okay, so I'm thinking, how about when the when it has like diagonal slashes through it? Let's grab the rectangle tool, and we're just gonna create a rectangle like this. Click and drag to create it, um, and then I'm gonna grab the selection tool. And when I see this double ended arrow, that means I can rotate it. So I can rotate this guy, and we'll make it like that. And then we're just gonna put him here. And once again, hold Option or Alt. Just kind of duplicate this guy down, down, doesn't really matter. You can hold shift and you can uh, measure these out if you want to. If you want to get them perfectly aligned, you can, after you duplicate them all, you can grab them, go to the alignment panel window down to align, that's shift F7. I don't really know that one, but I'm just letting you know. Uh, and then you can distribute objects. And if you align to selection, it's going to align to only these objects. And if I distribute them evenly, vertical spacing, it's going to distribute them evenly top to bottom. And so that's how that's how you would kind of make sure they're super even like that. And then you can make sure they're right in the middle of your party hat to make sure it's even with the party hat, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Let's change the colors of these guys. We're going to grab them all and maybe this should be uh green, orange. I don't know. I don't know my colors. Uh we'll do How about a red? How about a red? Hit OK. There's, yeah, yeah, red, red works. All right, now I'm going to grab all these and we're going to do Shift M for that Shape Builder, uh, shape builder tool. Hold Option or Alt, slice and dice these guys out of here. Get out of here. Extra pieces. There's another party hat. All right, um, that's how you do that. Okay, okay, so this guy over here, right? Um, let, me, let me show you just so that you guys that, uh, that want this version. Um, you just do the same things pretty much and then bring this piece on top. So I still have this sort of triangle in the background, my little party hat. Uh, let's say I made the polka dot version again and we're gonna bring we're gonna bring that pink. We're gonna bring that pink back. Uh, so polka dot version, ellipse tool, uh, change my fill to something no, let's do green, like a really hot green. Uh, just gonna make make these circles again. Um, duplicate them out. I showed you guys how to do this earlier, so I won't talk about it too much. Um, so we're just making some circles, right? All over this little party hat. Two of the circles cross over the bottom portion. That's okay. Let's select everything. Let's move this circle down. He's too close. Let's select everything, and then we're going to deselect that bottom piece by holding shift and clicking on it. So now I have just the triangle and just all the circles selected. When I use my Shape Builder tool, it only is concerned with what I have selected. So it doesn't care that this is down here. So I can, I can get rid of this piece. I'm gonna draw through these, and then draw through that and that. Okay, and I need to get rid of that. And I think that's about it. There's a little piece sticking out, but that's all gonna be hidden, right? So if I switch back to my Selection tool, now it looks kinda weird at the bottom, but all I need to do is grab that bottom piece, right click, go to Arrange, bring to front. So once you bring him to the front, it basically cuts off anything that was that was showing over the top of it. And so that's how you create um, that's how you create designs on a hat like that. Just bring that last bottom piece to the front at the end. Uh, so we'll scale him down. Now the last thing, these kind of all look like wizard hats until you top them with something. Um, so I mean this one's kind of party. These are all like wizard hats. This is a wizard hat tutorial. Okay, so we can top this guy with things, right? And it's really up to you. All, the, all these party hats, it's just like, it's sort of like free for all, right? You could, uh, we could go back to that brush tool and we could make him a little bit smaller. Um, 
F5, right? F5 is the shortcut key, and I can go to brush options. I can bring up this guy and make the size maybe 10. Hit OK, and let's pull in with the eyedropper tool. That's a new one. Hit I, it's over here, eyedropper tool. I can eyedropper this shape, and that changes my fill to that color. Now I can go back to brush with B, and what if I just did like something like this on top here? You know? Something like that, right? That looks super ugly. All right, let's try another one, I'm sorry. Uh, but you could, maybe maybe some of you are a lot better than me with the brush stuff. Maybe you could start from the same spot, like start here, start here like this, and maybe like this out here, like that. Is that, is that any better? Yeah, that might be a little bit better. It might be a little bit big, so we could take that down in size and kind of bump him over on top there. So so there's one, that's that's okay, right? I redeemed myself slightly. Uh, so there's one, we're gonna just duplicate that out. And I'm just showing you a couple different, maybe like party hat toppers you can do. Um, so a really easy one, you could go to the uh, shape tools, go down to the star tool, and li literally just create a star for the top. Um, for whatever reason, our fill and stroke are swapped. So we can just click this little swap fill and stroke button Shift X is the shortcut key for that. And that's gonna bring the star to the top. Um, let's see, what else could you create? You could create something like, I'm gonna zoom in, zooming in and out, that's command and uh, command plus and minus or control plus and minus. I'm gonna create just a rectangle on top here. So something like this. And then I'm gonna center this on that guy. And what I'm gonna do is use that uh, direct selection tool, shortcut key A, to grab this lower right point and just bump him left with the left arrow key until it's about center there. Doesn't have to be perfect. Grab the left one here and bump him right with the right arrow key. And then I've got this little piece like that. And so what I can do with this guy, if I go back to my other selection tool, is just kind of shrink him down a little, maybe maybe like this. This is all this is this is not scientific, okay? And I can duplicate him by holding option and I can rotate him. So it's kind of pointing in there and then I can shrink him him again and just kind of create this different type of uh, design here, right? And if I create a couple of them and we zoom out and maybe this one's a little bit shorter, uh, it's just a different type of topper on the, on, the, on the top of that hat, right? So here's the deal. Here's what, here's what I really, what I'm really after. I want to see your guys' designs, all right? So if you made it this far, I'd like to see, I showed you kind of how to basically do it. So get creative with it. I want to see you creative with your colors. I'm really bad with colors. I want to see some awesome designs out there, some multicolored stuff. I want to see, this is for my birthday, right? This is your birthday present to me. Show me what you got. Show me your party hats. Tag me on Instagram at Pixel and Bracket. Tag me on Twitter at Pixel and Bracket. Um, anywhere else you can tag me. If you wanted to go to Facebook, I'll see it. I'll see it anywhere. I would just love to see your guys' designs. So show me what you got. If you have any questions uh, or comments, post them down below. Um, I turned 20, or no, I'm t yeah. Sorry, I'm recording this the day before my birthday, but we're releasing it on my birthday. So today is August 25th and I turned 29 today. Only got one year left of them 20s. All right, you guys, uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more tips and tutorials. I'll see y'all next time.